Hey guys, so I'm not Winnie. I'm sure you figured that out by now. But I did just get a shipment from Doggy Bow Ties, which is the only place I buy Winnie's dog bows from, and the like 98% of any bow she's ever wearing in any of the pictures on her blog are from Doggy Bow Ties. Lynn McGuire owns, runs the business, makes all the bows herself by hand. She's awesome. You have to be a little bit patient because she has a full-time job and she does this on the side, and she's the only one um, making them. So just if you're gonna order, and I do recommend ordering, order with ample time in advance. Like don't order a Christmas bow in early December. I would order a Christmas bow in like late August. Um, but it's worth the wait, trust me. So I thought I'd do a little open box haul. Um, I do these kind of videos on my other, one of my other channels, My Housewife Life. I'll link both my other YouTube channels here if you're interested. But this is, I'm gonna post this on Winnie the Zoo too because it's about dog stuff. Of course, I can't open it. Open it. Okay. I'm very excited. So she always packages in this very pretty sparkly paper. And you can see doggy bow ties right there. And the website, you know, I'll write it here is um, www.doggybowties.com. I link it in a lot of um, my blog posts on Winnie's blog. Oh, I ordered a lot. And I never remember what I ordered because, like I said, it takes a little while for it to come. Obviously, they're handmade by one person, and she's very popular. But here's everything, and she's always very generous in giving free gifts and stuff. And I think she gave me a lot of free gifts because I'm, like, one of her most loyal customers. Oh, my gosh, what did I order? <laughs> Two big bags. Oh my gosh, she sent me so many free gifts. She's such a sweetheart. She always sends gifts. Okay, so everything's out of the box now. Empty. Let's see what I got. Oh yes, I bought this. Um, this is a kit. In addition to selling bows, she sells kits um, teaching you how to make bows. And I have her like puppy kit starter. And that's how I made um, puppy bows kit starter kit. And that's how I made um, some of the bows that I made myself, using her directions, obviously, in that kit. This is for the um, butterfly dog bows, which I'll show you a finished product. Look like that. This is a kit for that I bought. I can't remember off the top of my head how much it was, but it's listed on her website. And she gives you um, very detailed instructions with pictures, pre-cut ribbon, um, the supplies you need to, for the little antenna and the eyes and then the elastics, obviously, to attach the bows to. So, that's fun, I'll have to, I mean, I don't know when I'll have time to do this. I'm a little bit busy person lately. Lots of traveling, but I'll add that to my pile of crafts to do. But now for the bows. I'm excited. We'll go through this bag first. I got a lot of pairs, um, because sometimes I just have Winnie wear one of the little ones individually, or um, both. So we got these little yellow ones. I'm going to go kind of fast because there's a lot. And these little green ones. And these little green ones. I wanted like kind of more fallish colors. And these little gold ones. These are so cute. The leopard print. Leopard. And there's these. And these purple ones. They're more of a, like a mauve. Look how cute these are. These are snazzy. Very cute. And these are very interesting. Look look at these. How much detail work this is. And she's the best. She's absolutely the best. And then I bought a bunch of Maltese pears, which are um, very small bows, and they're made for, obviously, Maltese. But, um, oh, these are the little butterfly bows. Aren't they cute? <laughs> she wears those a lot. I like the small size, especially, like, when we're traveling or... You know, if it's just less cumbersome to have on her head. So I got these little sparkly ones. They're upside down. These are velvet. Sage colored. Velvet green. And then these tiny little <laughs> yellow ones with yellow rosettes. That's what was in that bag. Oh, sorry, something just fell over. Then in the second bag, holy moly, what did I order? these pretty peach ones and like I said I will just put one of these in Winnie's hair um, as a single top knot or both as pairs and that's why I like buying two of the bows because then I have that option oh these are cute 
little gingham, aqua colored gingham ones. More gold ones. These are mainly for fall. It was the, I wanted to buy a lot of like green and blue and fall colors because those are the one, kinds we don't have a lot of. Little green ones with um, little heart detailing. Oh, these are really pretty. I have these in um, kind of a goldish color as well. And she wears this one singly a lot. The other one we already have. Oh, these are pretty for fall. Very pretty. I hope this is coming out, you guys. I'm sorry if it's like glaring. I'm trying to do all the pairs first. Let's see. Oh, here, a little brown checkers. And that looks like all the pairs in that bag. Okay, so then I bought some kind of larger bows. Now, Winnie's a much, like on the small side of the Shih Tzu spectrum, the standard weight is 9 to 16 pounds. And Winnie weighs 10. She has um, a very small build. I know she looks big because she has a lot of hair. She's only 10 pounds, and um, she's like 75% hair. And her head is actually really small. So I can't buy full-sized dog bows for her because they would just like overwhelm they'd be like the size of her head so I still buy a puppy size for her and this time I decided to try the in-between size that Lynn offers at doggy bow ties which is like somewhere between a puppy size bow and a full size bow if you want the exact specifications she gives lots of details about that on her website so I bought several of these in-between size oh these are so pretty look at this sparkly blue I don't know if the glitter is going to come I'm going to take this one out of the bag and when I store these, I keep them in these bags um, in that, if you watch my grooming desk tour, um, I keep them in these little bags in the little, like, rolling set of drawers I have for them. Look how pretty. Um, just keeps them nice and separate, but also, like, in better shape, I feel like. Now, see, this is, like, this is the biggest bow she's ever had, these ones that I'm showing now. Um, but I think, I think they'll be nice, like, statement pieces. I probably wouldn't put them in her hair every day, but this is a puppy size, you can tell. It's a little bit smaller. See, this is the in-between size, and this is the puppy size. Just a little bit smaller. And this sparkly one, ooh, it's a glitter bow. It's kind of a aquamarine. Another green one, like I said, I was trying to expand her fall fallish colors so I got I thought this would be pretty because it kind of exactly matches the beige of her coat here's one that has fall designs on it I don't know if you can see it in the bag there it is um ta -da. oh this is these are also pretty very cute these I love these I have these in um other colors as well like black and white and red very cute for around Halloween especially, here's this one's gorgeous. I'm going to take this one out so you can see because it's got like a lace bow overlay. Do you see? Oh, it's so beautiful. I mean, beautiful dog deserves beautiful bows. And this one, she actually only lists on her website as full size. But I really, really wanted it, so she made an in-between size for me. Um, I think I'd probably put it on here like this. Isn't that pretty? I really love this. I'm excited for fall so we can wear that. We. Oui. And then she usually sends me like one or two gift bows. Well, she sent me a whole bunch of gift bows. And she says, a gift for you. She's so sweet. I think I'm one of her best returning customers. Because I keep, like once or twice a year, I do a big purchase like this. So let's see. Oh, she sent me cute little fall bows in three different colors. She's so nice. So these have little leaves on them. And there's um, three different color sets like that. So these were gifts from Lynn. And then two Maltese size um, kind of fall colored pairs. And that's my little uh, doggy bow ties haul. So thank you so much, Lynn, for the gifts, and you got these out to me so fast this time. It's amazing the handiwork that goes into these. And these are handmade by one person, like I said, who has a full-time job. I mean, do you know how much work this is? This this bow would probably, I mean, she's a seasoned expert, right? But to make something this complicated for me would probably take half an hour to make one bow. One. 
and she made me like 50. So um, I'm sure you'll be seeing pictures of these um, coming up soon. I'm catching up real quick, as quick as possible, on Winnie's blog photos. I'm up to April now, so that's good. Um, and as soon as I catch up and I'm only a couple weeks behind, then I'll, I'll go back to just one, one post per day. But uh, I'm sure you'll be seeing these, especially in the late summer, some of these, and then in the autumn, a lot of these will be in the fall. So, thanks for watching. Um, check out Winnie's blog if you don't know it. It's www.winniethezoo.com. And like I said, I'll link my other YouTube channels below if you're interested in seeing those. So, take care, you guys. Bye.